Okay, we got a new permission here. Got an old house here, 1800s probably, right out back somewhere near where the clothesline may have been. I'm thinking it'd be out here somewhere. Anyway, got our first find. Some type of tag. Not quite sure what to make of it. I don't see any designs or anything on it. But that's a good start. On to All next. right, we got something period now, something old. We're down there about a foot. I just, it picked it up pretty good. First thing I pulled out was this uh, wagon wheel. I weren't sure if it was a wagon wheel or something else, but here's the rest of the wagon, toy wagon, and I got more in the hole, more parts of it. I'm gonna dig her all up, and we'll see uh, what we end up with. But that's cool. How cool is that, huh? Okay, I forgot to mention we're using the AT Pro with the eight and a half by 11. This is as much a relic hunt as it is a coin shoot. And I got all four wheels. One's still attached there. I've got the two front ones and the two back ones. How nice is that? Huh? All right, we're on to the next one. Down about four or five inches or so, which has got to be the smallest pocket watch I've ever done. Thing is tiny. It's about uh, it's about the size of a half dollar. Cool relic though. All right, it's taking a while to get a coin. I figured. Coins always love trees, and there used to be a big old tree right here. And our first coin's gonna be a Weedy 41. Hopefully not our last one, but uh, glad to have it. All right, we got two hunts going on here. We got, what you just saw was a morning hunt. I went home and had my lunch and mowed the lawn and stuff, and after supper I went out to another home site. That'll be what you'll see after this wrap up. Okay, we got the big old compression ring. Shotgun brass, couple bottle openers. I guess they had trouble hanging on to them. It's a little tag, a little uh, horse or cow or whatever that is. It used to be a pen. And a little teeny tiny pocket watch. Look at the face of it there. You can see the Roman numerals. That's the smallest pocket watch that I've dug. And on to our coins. A 46 Jefferson. A uh, 41 weed, I know it's not that pretty, and if you can see it, that's a 1909 weedy. Now, I've gotten a few of those, but I've never gotten a VDB, and I still haven't. There's no mint mark on it. It is an 09. And here's our wagon. We got all four wheels, which is awesome. This one here kind of stayed attached. This one's got the little axle on it, and there's the other back wheel. And uh, now on to the afternoon hunt. Okay, we're at this old house. We're not really sure how old it is. I know it has a granite foundation, which probably puts it in the 1800s. And there's a lot of nails around the house itself. It looks like every time they redid the roof or the siding, the nails ended up in the ground, so there's a lot of nails. And I, I've been here before, but I've never really come up with a whole lot except for a couple wheats. And in this hole here, which is, the target was about eight inches down. And look at what we got. We got a large copper, baby. I, I know it's quite worn, but I'm pretty sure it's a large scent. Uh, what type, uh, I'm not sure. We should be able to get a little bit of detail out of it, tell what it is, but I'm very glad to have that. So that puts this house in the mid-1800s anyway. I knew it went back that far anyhow. All on right, to the this next. next find was like almost right on top, and it was ringing in the zinc penny range, and... Sometimes when I get lazy, I don't dig those. This time I did, I got a junk ring, but it's a good looking junk ring. Look all right in the ring display. 
All right, I was I got this signal and it was reading like a 36. When I opened the plug up, I get some higher numbers, 40s and 42s. It still could be junk, but that just goes to show. Open a plug and uh, you get a little more. I kind of like the uh, sounds of that. It's right in the center of the plug. Now we'll see if we can extract it. Right there. Okay, we're missing it over here. What do we got here? What do we got? Oh, we got what we don't want. Big old piece of wire. Oh well. Okay, okay it's getting dark on me and I'm hoping to pull a silver before I get out of here, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. Yeah, and a little copper, I can't tell. Looks like a Lincoln. I can't tell if it's a weedy or what it is. It's a little copper anyway. The big copper, not All right, here we are with our second wrap-up of the day. We have memorial pennies, a couple three dimes, a nickel, a little pin light or something off a car. It even has a little bulb in there. A little junk ring, cleaned up pretty good for a junker. Uh, we got a lead bullet, modern. Uh, master lock, Milwaukee, Wisconsin key. Padlock key, a 62... Canadian penny, a really toasted uh, wheat penny, and our prize, of course, would be our large scent. But what kind of large scent is it? Can you make it out? It's a drape bust. I don't know how well you can see it, but I I can make out the uh, figure. And um, drape busts were basically made 1797 to 1806, so that puts that at 200 plus years old. I think I see 1804 on it, but I'm not. I wouldn't bet my life on it, let's put it that way. And it says, you can see the one cent pretty good with the wreath on the back. And I think that's our fourth or fifth large cent on the year. We'll be getting more of those when the uh, corn becomes harvested here in a couple months. Anyway, glad to have it. Awesome find. Very unexpected to find that where I found it.